a little safeguard at level 1 to both help Amumu in jungle and to have sustain in lane against Zac. As soon as I see an opportunity to safeguard to creep and auto attack Zac, I go for it. My shield keeps me safe from the trade, and if I do take any damage through the shield, I can just heal it up with Iron Wood. At level 2, I decided to go with Sonic Wave over Tempest because I felt that with safeguard, safeguard, I could combo the two and get damage off on Zac, and I don't think it's very important that I slow him as he doesn't use his auto attacks too much. He's more of a spam spell and then try to heal back up and just keep doing that. Again, I go in for the Safeguard, Auto Attack Harass, one of my favorite Leeson exploits, I guess. Uh, as soon as I hit 3, I get to the second part of Safeguard, because, like I said, you do need sustain against Zack. It's one of the few lanes that I will max Safeguard, or at least I'll get points in Safeguard until I feel that I don't need any more points, which in this game is level 3, as you will see. I go in for standard safeguard harass, but in the back of my mind I know that I can kill him because he does he has teleport while I have ignite. He makes a grave mistake of trying to juke my Q so hard that he runs back and forth and lets me get auto attacks off. At this point I know that I can kill him, I pop my red pot and then I go and go for the all in. Buy Cutlass on my first bag because it gives me sustain and some kill potential. Notice that this is also when I stop leveling my safeguard and I start leveling my Sonic Boy because again I feel that I can kill Zach.
extend your senses. I walked down the ward, but I ran into Master Yi. I should have warded much sooner. I was a bit too stingy with my flash here. I could have tried flashing right after the ward hop, possibly living, but the chance was still slim because Master Yi has his alpha strike up, and he's just waiting to, for my flash to follow me. The enemy cart is not our fly, so I tell TF to walk behind them so I can go in and dive with him. Waste not a minute. Master is too close though, so we traded one for one. As Zack dives, I tag him with Q because I know that he will try to flash over the wall to survive. As he flashes, I follow through. panic a little bit when I see that E has come to kill me, but I quickly realize that I can easily brawl him inside my creep player. Notice how I combo my skills. I build the next step of my Blade of Rune King and I look to make plays bottom. Killing top lane in jungle sometimes isn't enough to solo queue. You need to try to help on all of your lanes to dominate. Find your center. I notice we can have two free kills here with the moon's old top and I go into the die. A single much is the problem. Now when that card is about to ulti, I get my fourth point and save card. Normally I would have level Tempest, but I know that I need those fourth points to survive the card is ulti. The rest of the game we simply push out lanes, get Baron, and end the game. By putting pressure on all three lanes and having good teamwork with my team, we were able to easily win. Waste not a minute.
senses. Killing spree. Waste not a minute. 